Hey, you guys want to help me out? I'm looking for my sister. She's missing. You want to put her on the channel? Yeah, she's a, she did last seen on 101st Street and, uh, and Central. I mean, I'm trying to ruin no one's day. I mean, no, it's you know what I'm saying? Hey, you're doing enough. Yeah, 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 you got to be my damn sister. Family, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to the San Joaquin Audit. I don't want to waste any time before we get into the video. Today I have a massive update on the missing persons case that we did back in the beginning of January along with Depths of History and Georgia River Boys. So if you don't remember, on January 4th, me along with my family were with Depths of History and Georgia River Boys conducting a First Amendment audit at the Inglewood Police Department. Not even 10 minutes into the audit, it became my first missing persons case. This video was extremely sad to edit and post, but it felt good for me doing a service to someone else by helping them look for a loved one. I know if I was in that situation, I would really appreciate it if someone did actually help out the way we did. So it did feel good inside, even though we weren't able to find her that day. But there's a bit of a happy ending to this story. So the massive update is the missing person has actually been found now. She's spending time with her daughter as well as her granddaughter. We heard firsthand from the guy in the video himself. So it makes me feel really great inside, honestly, to be of service to someone else the way that we were. And if you're not already, subscribe to my friends below because they're awesome as well. So for those of you who didn't tune in the first time around, I'm going to give you an edited version of the video. And with that being said, let's check it out. Hey, you guys want to help me out? I'm looking for my sister. She's missing. You want me to put her on the channel? Yeah, she's a, she did last seen on 101st Street and, uh, and Central, you know, Los Cienega and at and, uh, Los Angeles here. She's she was like a decorated like school teacher out here. And after my other sister had like a mental snap, she kind of, or my other sister passed away, she had a mental snap and she been on the streets out here. And now the last time uh, someone seen her uh, was uh, like probably uh, most people where she lives, like I said, it's been uh, two solid weeks and they're getting worried that she has been there. I just went to her and found out where her tent and everything before she did. And like uh, everything's like kind of all her stuff. She wouldn't leave it there. And she supposedly got into a car with some guy like six days ago. And they, uh, oh, they geez. like kind of warned her not to go. It, it was her birthday and she was like going down the street. And people said she was screaming, like no one cared. Yeah. Yeah. And then I went and I found the car. I kind of found the car. I think because the two people, different people told me where they went and said it was like a dark car, a gray car. And I went and I took pictures of the car, like over in the area they said it was at by the hotel over here, the motel. And it's like a kind of like a shady car, like it's all scratched up and the windows all broken off it and right. stuff. And um, it's a, like a new, new Jaguar, you know, but the wow. registration's out two years and wow. it's at the moment where they said she, she went, right? But no, no, no sign of her, you know? Um, is the car still out there right the car's now? still there, yeah. So I, like, I went down there and I'm trying to tell the cops, look, this is where yeah. the leads, oh, I've been out here two days and this is where all the leads are telling me that this, she may have, and I took the picture back to the people down there and said, look, this is the car she possibly got into, you know what I'm saying? Like, and she's, you know, you know and, 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 uh, and I said, is this the one? And the girl said, yeah, that looks like it. But it was raining. And, and, so yeah, I'm sorry I, to I hear don't that, know man. if you guys can do anything. Uh, have you gone to the... I know, I always see you guys at shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you know, gone I'm scrolling. To, <laughs> man, have, have you, I'm like, maybe they could do some... I mean, not gone? that you guys aren't doing good. You guys are doing good, but I mean, you know what I mean? You guys no, have no, a force no, like no, a, no. a couple other sheep. And have the police not shown up to review the car or look at it? I don't know. I'm trying to like, make contact with them now. You know, that's what I'm here for. You know, mm -hmm. I was just yeah. waiting to ask my turn and try to see what's up. Best of luck to you, man. Oh, yeah. Why don't you guys, why don't you guys get the yeah, address cool. and we'll go to the car right now, yeah. man. And like, I put my, I put like my, the burner phone number there or my other phone number okay. there. Okay. Look at you're right. There's a little uh, oh yeah, it's pretty mud everywhere. Last I mean we know she was last seen with at least you know I mean that's all we can do. Of course. That's the end yeah. of the trail like basically that I know right now. Yeah. I put all, all the word on the street that I can so now it's just it's either this. This is the, the end of the trail like for me the, the last person. You know it's crazy because I was in her tent. 
and I started looking, there was like a poem written by some girl, Angel, and then when I came out of the tent, I went back down to the bridge and asked some guy, and he said, oh, I talked to Angel, and she said she knows your sister got in the car with some, I was like, what? So I went down Angel, and then she told me that she, you know, was in a gray car, other girls said they came here, so I was like, well, it's two and two, I'm going to try to put it together, you know, and hope I'm in the dark. I mean, I'm trying to ruin no one's day. I mean, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you're you know, doing you know, enough, yeah, dude. Like, you got to reach that group sister, for your family. You know, like, yeah. Don't even worry about it, bro. That's why they actually came out. And bro, if it comes and he finds out no, I that... I appreciate you guys you know, I mean, like, I always, I, you know, always you. scroll there you guys are. Like, <laughs> I, hope, I hope your sister's safe, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. it. Up there? Should I ask? <laughs> no worries. No worries. You're good. What you say? He was like, we have to go. We have to deal with the investigation. So, I mean, I understand. No, I need to keep them out. Igloo, please, please. It's Igloo, please. Can you please open up? Turns out she wasn't here. All right, and that's gonna do it for today's video. Like I said, the update was this lady has now been found and she's spending time with her daughter and granddaughter. So that makes me very happy. If it makes you happy as well, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys as always for tuning in. And like I said before, don't forget to go subscribe to Depths of History and Georgia River Boys, as well as the other members of the San Joaquin family as well. As always, this is San Joaquin Audits and I'll be back with another video soon. You guys take care, peace. Also. If you or a loved one has had an interaction with the police that you'd like me to share, feel free to send the video to my email, policeclip6 at gmail.com. It may be featured in a future video on one of my channels.